Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Blaze. Welcome back to the wonderful land of Japan here in Victoria 2. Last episode, we kicked off a war against Sweden, which brought in his allies, Italy and Britain. Italy took over leadership of the war, which means we can separate peace out Britain. So for now, we are sieging up everything that we can. We're sieging up India, Canada, and mainland Britain. And also South Africa, right? Are we sieging up South Africa? Um, not yet. We're killing his army, and then we'll siege up South Africa. But yeah, I'd say this war is off to a good start. Wait, why is... Why is the Ottoman Empire helping out here? That doesn't make any sense. Get down there. And then come siege. I don't know why the Ottoman Empire is helping out there. He shouldn't be. But yeah, it looks like the Irish nationalists were going to win. And then all of a sudden they started losing. So, unfortunately, we're just going to have to kill these Irish nationalists. That's too bad. Running out of text to train, but that's okay. Who needs Tex? Who needs Tex indeed? We're almost done sieging up the British Isles. There's just a little bit more to do. Oh, you survived. How dare you survive? Kill that man for surviving. Almost done sieging up Sweden as well. Italy wants peace, but that's not going to happen. Um, looks like we're fighting Italy in Dalmatia, and it's going okay. I mean, it could be better. Where the hell's my navy? There they are. Hmm. Getting a little sketchy over here. Getting a little sketchy over here. Gotta keep an eye on things so we don't lose too badly to any one specific problemo. Still moving, right? Yeah, we're still moving. Okay, do that. Go there. Keep moving. Yeah, sieging up India is going to take the longest, because he's got a bunch of rebels which keep unseaging stuff that we siege. It's kind of a pain. But what are you going to do? This battle's going okay, I think. Yes, yes, kill the Swedes, again. The second time we're destroying the Swedish army, because why not? Alright, he's running to kill Dare. It's fine, really. Hmm. I mean, it looks like our tech is better than Italian tech. What's his tech? Tech uh, 29, this tech is pretty good. The tech is pretty good. And there we go, we destroyed the Swedish army. Okay, good. All right, now we need to pick up these troops because they don't need to be here anymore. And we can take them to Italy and start fighting the main war, which is Italy. This whole Britain and Canada thing is a, is a sideshow, really. Although it's quite a fun sideshow. How are those American rebels doing, eh? Oh, they've done it. Washington, D.C. has fallen. We're going to see a communist America. Oh, man. I can't wait. I want to see this flag. I want to see the communist American flag. It's going to be epic. It's going to be epic. Oh, we won the battle. Cool. You're surviving and you're running to Frafra. Okay. I'll meet you there, bro. Broheim, Brofist, Brosif, Brosif Stalin. Okay, good. Siege him up, boys. Alright, hold on. Too much stuff happening at once. Too many things at once. Won the Siege of Zablin. That's great. Let's move on to Galway and Waterford. Okay. Oh, you survived, you little bastard. 
that's okay. We're following him anyway. And he survived in Pickle, too. Wow, okay. Norway House. I'm going to Norway House anyway. Perfect. We're all going to the same place. That's what I like to see. He survives. Will you stop surviving, you little bastard? And... Dauphine... How's our War Score on Britain going? War Score on Britain's at 45. He won't even give me 40 peace steel. Wow. God damn. That is a stubborn Britain right there. I mean, Italy's just willing to give us anything we want. But Britain's like, nope. Okay, we destroyed the army in Farafra. Good. I'm going to try doing a little bit of a blockade here. We should have the naval supply range to handle this. I think. Uh, let's see, you're going there, you're going there, you're going there, you're going there, okay. Over here, we're gonna go pick you up here, that's fine, let's go pick him up. Head to Nunavut. Oh, there's a rebel over here, lol. Get out of here, Italy, I don't want your peace deal. Looks pretty good, I think. Head to Limerick. Alright, how's our war score? He still won't take 40 peace steel. Alright, well, that's a stubborn Britain right there. It's kind of why I'm tempted just to peace out Italy and just. Because he'll give us everything we want. Do I go to Italy or do I go to India? That's the question. If I go to India, we can siege up over here a lot faster. Yeah, let's go to India. I can force Britain out of this war way sooner than I can force Italy out of the war. I don't even know what we're going to do with Italy. I have not made plans for Italy at all. It's just kind of a back burner thing. We'll get it done when we get it done. The problem is he's got level 6 forts everywhere. I mean, that's what these little things are. Level 6 forts. So it would take forever to siege him down. I'm not sure if it's worthwhile. It may not be worth our time. I don't know. We got our CB on Switzerland. Okay. So we can annex Switzerland. Not annex. Maybe annex? No, we can only take one province. I'll take West Switzerland, or East Switzerland for sure. Um, his only ally is France. I don't know if France would join the war against us. But I think I won't declare that until we've finished up this other war, because we're very busy right now. Although that would allow me to walk straight from Britain down into Italy. That's actually really convenient. Walk from Britain down to Italy? Holy shit, we can go straight through Switzerland. All right, I'll consider that. Yeah, he has no forts in India. Or if he does, they're like level ones. They're falling so quickly. Africa is a different story. Africa, I keep fighting him in the mountains or hills or whatever. It's a little more difficult in Africa. But then again, there's not as many provinces in Africa, so it shouldn't be a problem. Stop retreating. Alright, I'm going to head down here to the French border, because it looks like we're going to be going to war with France real soon. 20 brigades, that's going to be easy peasy. Kildare, alright. Wexford, come on down. Okay, where's this? Norway house, cool. Siege that shit. And can we head up there from here? Yes. Um... Sure, go for it. 
We crushed another... That's like the third it Italian army we've crushed. But I can't really take on these bigger stacks. So I'm just going to stand here, I guess. I'll let him unsiege that shit. Oh, Chinese Empire collapsed. He went... Fascist! Oh, that's a neat flag. Chinese fascist flag. It's like a fireball. I like that. Alright, get down here. Let's put some troops on the Swiss border as well. Then again, France may not even join the war against us. I mean, they are Switzerland's ally, but that doesn't mean they're going to join. It just means they probably will. Just like Britain joined the war when we declared on Sweden. Wow. He won't even take a 40 war score peace deal when we have 50 war score. Okay, that means this war could drag on for a while. That's really unfortunate. There we go. USA has collapsed. Oh my god. American communists. No voting. Ruling party only. Meetings not allowed. State press. Wow. I gotta see this. The American People's Republic. I have never seen this before. Oh yeah. Look at that fucking flag. Hammer and sickle. Instead of, a, instead of on a blue corner it's just a red half flag and then the white red and white stripes i like it i like it it'd be cool if their nation would change color to red as well to show they're communists neat i've never seen that and he still has anarcho liberals and fascists and other shit roaming around so he might collapse again does he have any army at all he's got 35 brigades <laughs> Commie America, I know. No, China, yeah, China went fascist and America went communist. Isn't that neat? Alright, head to the French border. Or the Swiss border, I mean. What? I have troops in Essequibo. Why do I have troops in S? I don't know. I'm just going to pretend that we don't actually have troops here. I don't know why we have troops there. But we're getting attacked. <laughs> Are we winning? Yeah, we're winning. Awesome. Go Essequibo army. <laughs> He still won't give me a 40 piece deal. We have 57 war score and he won't give me a 40 piece deal. What a douche. What a douche. What a douche, what a douche, what a douche, what a mighty good douche. all the African coast. Yeah, I can't believe he won't peace out. We have in Ontario 100% sieged and Quebec is almost 100% sieged and he won't peace out. Oh, he dropped some troops off over here. All right. There goes Baffin. I guess we can go kill those guys. And then head to... I don't know, just head over here somewhere. Go to Alberta. Cork is done. All right, Cork, head down over there. Galway. Let's go to Belgium. He's got no army here in India. Where's my other navy? I know I was bringing troops over. There we are. 
It takes a while to sail over, doesn't it? Ah, oh, he got away again. You little fucker, stop running. I just want you to die. I just, I just want you to die, that's all. I don't know what's going to get us some war score here. Oh, he'll actually give us a, a state now. Okay, well, I don't know how close we are to peace, but it's something. He'll actually give us something now. We have both of our war, war goals completely sieged. That should mean something, right? That, that should be worth something, I think. Maybe. I would hope. Get out of here, Italy. I don't want your peace deal. Jagbub. Jagbub. I have sieged Jagbub. Jagbub strunk. Jagbub strunk? Strunk Jagbub. Strunk independent Jagbub. Don't need no man. We should get some ticking war score because we have the target province, or the target state sieged. But that doesn't mean we'll get a lot of ticking war score, maybe just a little bit. Alright, at this point, my army here in Croatia is just going to sit there. Uh, I can't really help him right now. So he's just going to have to hold out until we uh, finish up the sieges in Ireland and peace out Britain. Then we can head down. I mean, it won't take too long to get down there, I don't think. Especially since France is a pushover. He's still not dead. Die when I kill you! Alright, get down here and there. No, no peace. Oh, I didn't die. I hate when they don't die. Oh, he's going to Stanley. So am I. What a coincidence. We're both going there. That means you're dead. We've won the Battle of Timbo. That's cool. Always good to win that battle. Oh, we finally killed his army of South Africa. Yay! Four score? Seventy. Alright. We're almost there, folks. Almost. Ah, oh, jeez, the guy didn't die. Of course he didn't die. Why would he die? Dying's for chumps. Alright, he is going to attack me here at some point, right? I mean, he outnumbers me like 10 to 1 in this area. He should attack. I wonder if he has gas attack. He probably... I mean, gas defense. He probably does. He's been in a lot of wars. Italy has. What do you say, Britain? No. Oh, so close. No, not Zagreb. No. Zagreb. Alright, it's about time for this war. Let's do it. Let's see if France joins. I mean, I just assume they'll join.
Yeah, France is in. Okay. I'm just going to start carpet sieging. I mean, there's no reason to engage him directly if I don't have to. He's going to mobilize and do whatever. Did anyone else join that war? I don't think so. Nope, just France. Okay. Oh, come on, Britain. Don't be so unreasonable, yo. Why you got to be like this? Why you do this? Why you do this? You know what? If you're going to be like this, I might even make one more demand, just because you're a douche. What can we take that's cheap? Is there anything worth less than 20 war score? <clears throat> hey, thanks for resubbing, Plague. Welcome back. No, nope, Ulster's 40. Leinster's 50. Highlands is 34. Wales is... No, it's just all too expensive. What about Newfoundland? 12. We can go Newfoundland, maybe. Saskatchewan, 16. Alaska's 23. I think Newfoundland's good. Let's do Newfoundland. New Brunswick? New Brunswick. Perfect. 19 war score. There we go. So we're going to demand an even 100 war score from Britain. Because he's being a douche. He could have pieced out at any point. He's not piecing out. He's a massive douche. And he deserves our wrath. Right? He deserves it. Oh no, we're losing the battle in Esequibo. No! Not Esequibo! No! Esequibo! How can I ever show my face in public again? We've lost the battle in Esequibo. I don't think I can. My life is over. BRB retiring from internet celebrity. Oh my goodness. What? I just lost an army to France. Where? I didn't even know there was a battle. Apparently there was a battle and I lost. Rip. Oh man, there's fucking rebels up here now. Fuck, I'm gonna have to kill all these rebels? Oh fuck! He's got rebels everywhere! Ah. Oh. Alright, but that will encourage him to peace out earlier, I think. I'm gonna have to kill Britain's rebels now. Oh, I hate when you have to kill someone's rebels when you're at war. Oh, he's got rebels in South Africa. He's got rebels in Egypt. Oh, my goodness. Fuck off, Britain. You and your rebels, man. You and your rebels can both fuck off. Seriously. Okay. We are being attacked. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. So much shit going on at once. All right, that's done. Kill the rebels. Thankfully, the rebels don't siege very quickly. I can barely see my screen because of all these pop-ups. Siege complete. Good. We're under attack by Switzerland, and I can't see because there's pop-ups everywhere, and the game is lagging like crazy. Oh my god, this lag. But it looks okay. We're sieging. We're doing a good job. Uh, we can't piece out Switzerland individually. We can only piece out the war leader, who is false. Okay. Can I add a war goal, please? I need more jingos, don't I? Yep, more jingos. 
This Jingo cheat is the best, because Jingos are silly. So, if I go for East Switzerland, it's 100 war score. It means I can't take anything from France. The alternative is I demand stuff from France and not Switzerland. How much does French stuff cost? 44. So I could potentially take two states from France or one state from Switzerland, but I can't have both. Hmm... Well, I'm curious. I'm curious what we can take from Italy. Meaning, can we get enough land from Italy to link up all the way to Switzerland? That way, if we only take East Switzerland, can we take South Tyrol, Venice, and Istria? If we can take South Tyrol, Venice, and Istria, let's see how much they cost. South Tyrol. That's only 15 war score. Venice? Starts with a V, Shen. Look for the V. There it is. 45. That's quite a lot. What about Istria? Forty. That's perfect. That's a hundred war score. So we can take South Tyrol, Istria, and Venice, and that'll link up all of our lands from Scotland all the way to Croatia. That's amazing. Well, that's going to be the plan then. I can't believe how cheap that stuff is. And we'll demand East Switzerland. Right, where is this stuff? We killed the army in Fredericton. Very good. Rebels everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. So that means we only need to piece out France for one state. That should be a lot faster. Although we are going to have to get a 100 war score. <laughs> Easier said than done, right? Has our navy arrived yet? Yes! My navy's finally here. Good. Alright. Everyone get off the boat. Apparently we can only get off in two places. Let me get off over here. There we go. Rebels, rebels, rebels. Okay. Oh man, rebels everywhere. Pain in the dick, I tells ya. You know me, I'm not a fan of pain in the dick. Dick pain. If you're suffering from dick pain. Man, the USSR, they're just gonna collapse again, aren't they? Do they even have an army? They have nine brigades. <laughs> That's so bad. Why are you so bad, USSR? Why are you so bad? And I guess I can take my navy over here and let's use them to reposition this fleet. Or this army, because I don't know what they're doing over there. But they're just kind of chilling. Kill all the things. And then go to London, and then come on up here, kill all the things, kill all the things, and then come back to London. Okay. So that should take care of that. So many rebels. Oh cool, we destroyed this, the uh, Swiss army that attacked us, lol. Oh my god, the Swiss are back. I think these are just farmers. It's like his farmers are spawning. And we're killing them. Oh, is it that time again? I think it's that time again. Oh, he won't take it. He won't even do 80 war score. He's stubborn. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time for the war with France, Britain, Italy, Switzerland, and whoever else is in this war. Sweden. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.